praise God brothers and sisters and welcome back to my channel for another powerful moment of inspiration. As usual, the word is our standard. Now we want to look at another amazing story that comes from the book of Genesis 19. And this story today we are saying, don't look behind. Don't look behind. We all know the story of Sodoma and Gomorrah. And we all know the prayer that Abraham made to God to spare Lot. And at this time, the angels appear ready to destroy Sodoma and Gomorrah. And they find Lot and they tell Lot, take your family, take your wife and leave. Now, one thing that is troubling, Lot was hesitant on leaving. They looked like they, they were not in a hurry. They were not in a hurry to leave Sodoma and Gomorrah. Even after being warned, it's going to be destroyed. And it reaches a point whereby the angel had to hold their hand to take them out of that place. Friends, sometimes when God wants you on something, it is good to be quick in the spirit and to take action. Do not delay. Do not start thinking that this is the place I love. This is the place I have been. These are the people I've been with. When it is time to go, when God says go, go. When God says I want to save you, I want to protect you, I want to take you out of this, you should run with it. And this is what happened to Lord. Now, at this point, the angels tell Lord and, and the wife and the family, Please go back, do not look behind. Do not look behind. Friends, most of the times, we want to look behind at what we left. There are so many times that God has taken you from the clay. God has taken you from the dirt. God has taken you from situations that no man could have taken you from. But you still look behind. You want to see the friends that you used to have. You want to even look at their social media to see what they are doing. And you know this thing can actually take you back to those positions. At this point, that is what the angels were telling them. Do not look behind. Many of us, today God is telling us, why are you still looking behind? Why do you desire so much the life that I took you out of? Why do you desire to see what happens to Sodoma and Gomorrah? I don't want you to see what is going to happen. I want you to look at what, where I'm taking you because I have a good plan for you. My purpose for you is good. My plan for you is good. We have seen so many times in the Bible, even the children of Israel, they kept on thinking about Egypt. In Egypt, we used to do this. In Egypt, we would have been safer. In Egypt, that is the same thing that God is telling us today. I don't want you to think about where you came from. I don't want you to look about your generation, how you used to do things. I don't want you to look at how you used to do when you were younger. When you are walking in sin, you are walking in things that were not right. I want you to look in front. I want you to run this race without looking behind. Leaving everything behind and running this race realizing that God is taking you somewhere. Now, we see them going. But a place comes and Lord's wife looks behind. The same thing she was told not to do, she does. Friends, Lord wanted to look at behind and see what will happen. Lots looking behind to see at the things that we used to do being left behind. Is this city that I used to know as my home for long being left behind? The longing of the things that you have gone through. The longing of the things that you have been taken away from. Maybe her love for Sodoma and Gomorrah was so much. Some of us are still in love with Sodoma and Gomorrah of our lives. There is a person that God has taken you out from. And God has told you, I don't want you to maintain this relationship. But your love for that Sodoma and Gomorrah keeps you looking behind to see how that man is doing. When he buys a new vehicle, you start deciding, thinking, I should be the one driving in that vehicle. I should be the one who was married by that man. I should be the one that was in that house that he built because you have been following everything that person has been doing. God is telling you today, I do not want you to look behind. When you look behind, you'll be destroyed. Some of us, 
You are taken away from clubbing. You are a fan of clubbing. But up to today, you know the current songs that are being sung in the clubs. You are looking at every new thing that is being done in clubs. You know all the new clubs that are coming in your place. Because you keep looking behind to see what you left behind. God is saying today, come out. Stop looking behind. Come out of the past. Come out of that life that you used to have. Come out of those friendships that you used to hold dear. Some of us, the same, same things that we used to do. Yes, you might not be doing it, but we are in the midst of the same people that are destroying others with their tongue. That is where you sit. That is where you enjoy. The Bible tells me in the book of Psalms 1, that blessed is the man that does not sit in the castle of the wicked. But you sit in the castle of the wicked and you say, I'm just sitting. What you're doing, you're looking behind. You are already taken from that position. You are bought, you are purchased by the blood of Jesus that was so expensive. Look in front. Change people's life. Be the transformer of the people that are in your life. Don't let them keep taking you back and conforming to the patterns of the world. Friends, the longing for evil. You desire evil so much. You desire to do the evil that you used to do. You keep falling again and again because of looking back. Let me tell you, when Lot looked behind, the Lot's wife looked behind, she turned to a pillar of salt. Can you imagine God has removed you from danger? But instead of you going to where God is taking you, you turned to, you turned to a pillar of salt. She lost her family. She lost her life. She did not burn in Sodom and Gomorrah, but she turned to a pillar of salt just outside the city. What a disaster. What a waste of God's mercy. My brother and sister, God has showed you mercy. God healed you from that situation. God saved you when you are in the pit of sin. God took you out. You can see yourself and say, I am alive because of the mercies of God. I used to be a drunkard, yes, but my organs are okay because of the mercies of God. So why are you going to look back? Why are you desiring to go back? Do not waste God's mercy. Embrace God's mercy today and tell God, Father, I don't want to look behind again. Take me where you want to take me, Lord. I surrender myself fully and only to you. That God, if you say, get out of Sodoma and Gomorrah, Lord, I will literally run. I will literally come with you to the place where you're taking me. Father, I understand that your mercies for me are true. I understand anything you tell me to do is for my own good. God, I'm going to go with you. I'm going to totally surrender myself. A song is sung, and the song is beautiful. I surrender, I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all. Oh, to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Surrendering means I am not going to look back. I have allowed my hands to go up in the point of surrender. And you tell those angels that were taking Lot and his family out that it's okay. We are ready to go out. We are ready to go and not look back. We want a new beginning with the King of Kings. We want a new beginning with the Lord of Lords. If you are there and you are telling God that, May the Lord do it for you. You're telling God, I am tired because I've been falling again and again and again. Because I keep looking back. God, show me mercy once more. Show me mercy once more. Then take the mercy of God. Receive the mercy of God, but don't look behind. Don't look behind. Brothers and sisters, what a word. What a good word. What a great reminder that we should not look behind. 
thank you again and again for joining this channel if you're new in this channel please subscribe share with someone and come back next time for another powerful episode another powerful moment of inspiration god bless you till next time shalom